My drive over, I will just get my brain right. I usually pray a rosary on my way over. I listen to classical piano. I just, I love it in the morning because I, there's certain music you can't listen to in the morning. I started listening to classical music, in particular classical piano, because I think it's a lot like pitching. I think it's, um, it's a beautiful controlled chaos. There's so many like names. I don't know how to say his name. Frederick Chopin. I, I'm sure I'm botching his name. I like listening to it too on the way because you can, when you shut your eyes and, and listen to what the left hand's doing versus what the right hand's doing, and like the rising crescendos and the descending crescendos, and that's, I think, pitching. You have a plan and you go about it, but then there's also a controlled chaos and you have to make it beautiful, you have to make it sound right. But it gets my brain right, kind of wakes it up, and then I'll uh, get to feel eat breakfast and then start getting my body ready. You know, starts with your getting your brain ready on the way there and then get your body ready. There's two guys. Orlando Arcia of the Milwaukee Brewers crushes me since since the minor league, since like high A. Crushes me. And he's always in the lineup when I start against the Brewers. <laughs> Another guy that has crushed me in the big leagues in particular is a guy named Greg Garcia crushes me. Always in the lineup when I pitch against him. Um, he's with the Padres now, so I'll only see him once a year. Thank goodness. They just find a way to get a hit, whether it's through the shift, whether it's a jam shot over the shortstop second baseman. They just find a way to get a hit. It's unbelievable. I, I love the, the people that, like, they come to games not expecting to get a signature, or they come to an event not expecting to get a signature, and they'll pull out their grocery list from their mom's purse and the kid will say like my mom gave me this like can I can you sign this and it's got like you know eggs bread juice grocery it's a grocery list I'd probably be a teacher um, I went to Arizona State University first to play baseball and then I got a I went to study student athlete and I have my bachelor's degree in United States history and something that I'm really passionate about something that I love and I would be a high school history teacher somewhere um, coaching baseball if I liked baseball but if baseball wasn't in my life who knows if I would be coaching baseball or not or, or have the tools or, and strategies to help kids play baseball the best thing about spring camp I think is it's like going on summer break in school and you you have all your friends and some maybe this is like summer break before cell phones this is summer break before cell phones and you would go to school and uh, or go on summer break and you miss all your friends and then you reconvene in those first few days of spring training it's always like well where'd you go on vacation what'd you and your family do um, so that's my favorite part and then also being with new teammates that being with new teammates that are going to be um, fighting for the same goal that you have and, and get to know them a little bit better let's see if these guys get out of the way sometimes they don't Thanks for taking a ride with me. This is day 18 or 19 or 20, who knows? It's Groundhog Day. Beautiful sunrise. But thanks for taking a ride. Hope you guys enjoyed that. And see you guys either down here or in Pittsburgh at some point. It's a long season. <laughs>